So I'm just gonna put oh, This might be too much actually. Oh my gosh. That's okay. Oh, that might be too much as well. Alright, let's do some more cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. Cheese. Oh, oh. Just I wish I could go back in time. Welcome everybody. Everyone from all walks of life. I think I've got a powerful video here for you. I think anyone will be able to get something out of this. As I showed this contrast through clips of Nikocado Avocado's previous videos. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Nikocado does do entertainment, he does act, but he does do more than that because he is more than that. And this is something I've learned recently. Oh, and didn't we all learn that while everybody thought he was still a fat loser who seemed to be going off the deep edge, he was actually losing weight and trying, trying to fix his life, which he's been complaining about for a couple years. And you'll be able to see that here. So this is a two-part video mainly. We're going to start the first part off here by showing you the old Nikocado, who I never knew. I was busy with my own channel back, that was 2014. So you're going to be surprised as I was. Hi, my name's Nick. I also go by Nikocado Avocado on social media. I came across raw veganism uh, three years ago, and I just felt so alive. And be happier and healthier without doing so much intentional harm to the planet and the animals. Just innate in us, we're compassionate beings. So if the world went vegan, we in turn would be more compassionate. We wouldn't have to flip that type of suffering onto other animals. I've joined a vegan gym. Jackfruit is one of my favorite fruits. I just, I get so excited when I smell it. Mm, I get so excited and I'm really happy. Oops, that clip doesn't belong there. We'll get to that later. Oh, that was my day. I feel really great. I am so excited to just to show my progress and talk about what I'm doing. Like, be really transparent. more bonier like you can see my bones more easily but this is just like puffing up now I see improvement already so it's really awesome Possible, eat from the earth and you will feel alive. It's the way to kind of little dough. <laughs> Our bodies do much better with carbohydrates, natural sugars. Or you could do it on raw fruits like me, and I'm telling you, you'll feel so good. Those were the before clips. Before he gave up veganism. And not just that, he basically turned away from healthy eating. High levels of fruit, maybe too much avocado, ooh, but there's plenty of vegetables that he no longer ate. And having the fitness and the energy to exercise, he stepped away from that whole lifestyle and turned to the dark side of fast food and junk food and getting the easy clicks and easy money. And now I'm going to show you the after clips. Now I know you think you've seen enough of that, but I have put together some specific clips that fit in well here. And yes, we should all know that he does act and clowns it up for the audience. But as he just revealed the other day, that within his act, he has put in some true things he's been thinking. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, all of these lost and bored. People. People consuming anything that they're told to consume. He's using his own bad experiences to teach people things. This is something I've been learning while making these videos and it's given me other video ideas. I've got a big expose in the works. I got like four video ideas past this one. And you'll see here in these clips that there is some truth going on here and that he really is miserable which you could imagine. It's great for me to be funny. It's a great, a great way for, for me to put myself out there. 
you know? But at the end of the day, I turn off the camera and I am miserable. I am not happy. If I'm being honest with people, I feel very trapped. Yeah. And on top of that, I'm, I'm hated. I'm, I've trapped myself into something where I'm also hated for it. It's not like I trapped myself into something where, oh, we love him, oh, he's so funny, oh, he's the best. Like, no, I trapped myself into the worst person. I mean, I saw a video being about me the other day. I didn't actually watch it, I saw the title. I stopped watching a lot of things out there because it literally makes me want to jump off a bridge I'm being serious. Like, what did I even do? Just be fat, but that's what people wanted me to do. They wanted me to be fat. That's the only reason they want watch me, because I'm fat. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, who are you? Nikocado went from vegan to villain, in his own words. From hero to zero. I am serious. I cried all night last night, and I said, you know what? I'm this close to giving up. It's extremely difficult for my psyche, for my my motivation to get out of bed, knowing that my job is to face people who hate me, who don't care for me, that don't that aren't even interested in me. They're here to see someone fat. They're here for someone fat. And you know, it's just I, I just wanna I just I wish I could go back in time and tell myself, Nick, this is not the path. Just hang in there a little bit more, something might come up. My life was going great. So I decided to do this YouTube life where I thought it'd be fun to reach people. This country is played with rap, which is not even music. It's noise. It's hate speech. Oh, there's no phrasing. There's no diaphragm control. There's no, ta there's no talent. There's barely any skill. The bar is so low in this country. And what are they talking loud about? Hurting people, stealing, getting revenge, sleeping around. And I was part of I was part of a movement in this world to show people that life can be about good things. And people will come together, all types of people. In the theater world, in the musical theater, in the orchestra. And it was uniting and I felt like it was beautiful. It was something to look forward to. And it was also people come together. I gotta be straightforward with you guys. That clip was taken out of context. Both clips are. But he went on to talk about the violin career that he wanted. But I'd say he was also talking about what he did right after that. Got into the vegan community. Because you can see from the clips there that he was feeling really good. Um, I'm only bringing it up because I miss where I was going in my life. I miss what I was doing. I... It was fun for a year. The first, I barely made a living. I had to move to South America. Yeah, every day because the algorithm, the algorithm changed. They don't get paid. They never get paid. They don't get make my music. And everyone thinks I'm. I thought that would be a fun way to make money, a fun way to get myself out there, a fun way to live my life. And I'm sitting here thinking, I have thrown away the best years of my life. <laughs> Can't be happening. This just is not the way it's supposed to go. Everyone hates me. Do you see the comments that I receive from most people? You're fat, you're gross, you're disgusting, no one likes you. You're mean to Orlin, you, you don't have anything. Da, 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 da. You're poor, you're gross. <sighs> I'm just not okay. And I said, I just want to eat because, you know, that's one of the only things that does make me happy. And maybe I do have a problem. Okay, I saved that clip for the end because he said what a lot of people think, that eating junky food makes them happy, which is why they do it, right? Well, I've been teaching for years that that is an illusion. You might feel stimulated while you're eating, but it does not make you happy. Matter of fact, as soon as you're done eating, that stimulation's over. The only thing that makes you feel good afterwards is that you've eaten calories. And that satisfies your body, but you can do that with healthy food. To paraphrase John Lennon, look at all the unhappy people who eat the standard American diet. Meanwhile, I'm pretty happy, and I eat nothing but healthy foods. See the carburetor day. So I've been teaching this for years, and I got one more clip of Nikocado that really brings home the message in this clip here where he is eating pizza. 
So you fold it like this. It's huge. this channel. I don't like what I'm doing with my life. I had goals, I had dreams, and I threw it all away to eat food. And everyone wonders why I'm posting less. I'm not happy. I don't like what I've done. I don't like what I've done. I don't like what I've become. I don't like what I look like. I don't like my followers. I don't like most people on this internet. They're all fake and mean and using and just disgusting, just disgusting. Now that Nick Akato has had this big reveal, and I've been doing research on him to put all this together now, I have noticed that he's been revealing a lot for years, he's been teaching people things subliminally, kind of like how I've also done, having people not realize that we're actually teaching something. For him, it's the mistakes he has made. That's part of the two steps ahead, that he's not just some fat fool on the internet. He is, and he's portraying himself that way, and he's highlighting it, but he's doing that to teach people something. And I'm gonna have a video just on this. It deserves its own video. And I got other stuff too coming up. A whole bunch of angles on this story. It's amazing 